to the pandemic now, and nurses are calling on Governor Charlie Baker to address burnout and staffing shortages. And as WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, this state is giving us a clearer picture of what's going on inside hospitals. This is the first time the state is breaking down the data to share a clearer picture of how many people who are in the hospital with COVID are seriously sick from the virus. Of 3,100 patients in the hospital with COVID, 51% are hospitalized because of the virus. 49% are considered incidental cases. Dr. Marin Batalden explains how the state is getting these statistics. So the state is asking us to identify those patients who are admitted to the hospital with COVID who require a medicine called dexamethasone. It's a good measure of those patients who are admitted to the hospital with COVID who have uh, serious respiratory infection or serious respiratory complications from their The 49 percent includes patients in the hospital for something else, like a broken hip who just happened to test positive for COVID. Dr. Batalden says it also includes people who are sick with COVID but live in a shelter or congregate care setting and can't safely isolate at home. So we admit them to the hospital to, to manage contagion and to manage the risk, that, to, to support their need to isolate. Hospitals in the state remain overwhelmed with both COVID and non-COVID patients. We are absolutely exhausted. The emergency rooms are, are bursting at the seams. Uh, there just aren't enough beds. That's why the Massachusetts Nurses Association sent a letter to Governor Charlie Baker asking him to declare a state of emergency through March that would reinstate expedited licensure for out-of-state nurses to help with the staffing crisis. They're also asking for stricter visitor policies at hospitals, on-site testing and booster shots for staff, and that all staff interacting with patients be provided provided with new single use N95 masks. In order to tamp this down and get ahead for a change, we need to practice safety measures. The Massachusetts Nurses Association says deploying National Guard troops to hospitals has been helpful and they're requesting even more assistance. Anna Myler, WBZ News.